Hi, hello, and welcome in our video. In this video, I would like to explain you what is ELM, Engineering Lifecycle Management Platform, and what issues does it address. My main goal is to focus on why such platform exists and what major problems does it solve. I will mention a few sales phrases, but I will try my best to dive deeper and explain them in easy, straightforward way. Let me now start with sales-ish summary. IBM Engineering Lifecycle Management is a platform that can handle multidimensional complexity and that can cover the whole system engineering lifecycle of any novel complex system. It is a platform that can act as a single access point to all engineering information and therefore as a single source of truth for any team anywhere in the world and in any point of engineering lifecycle. Although that was great sounding introduction, the goal in this video is to break down this summary into small, better understandable concepts. Let's start in the very beginning. Let me talk about what is engineering. When you think about engineering, you might picture building structures or designing new technologies or solving any complex novel problems. ELM is a tool that helps engineers to plan and keep track of their project, whether it's designing a bridge or creating a computer program or developing a new product. Engineering is rooted in the idea of breaking apart large complex problem into smaller, more manageable problems that can be solved more easily and then combined at the end to form a final product. So engineering is focused on bringing complex products into an existence. To do this, we have engineering life cycle, and this life cycle consists of different stages. First stage is planning. In this stage, we brainstorm ideas and we decide what we want to create. We take a problem or a need for our product and we define the characteristics about it at very high abstract levels. Then we define the scope of our project and we create a plan for how we will plan to achieve our objectives. The second stage is decomposition. We split those characteristics up into smaller chunks and characterize each of those chunks in greater detail. We keep going and going with this, decomposing characteristics and elements about our product into smaller and smaller segments until a team of engineers and managers can handle bringing them into existence. After we have a plan and small decomposed subproblems, it's time to design our project, so we are transitioning to design stage. Here, we can create detailed drawings, specification, and prototypes. Then we have development phase. Here, our teams actually build or create our product. In this stage, among many other things, we need to manage tasks, assign responsibilities, and track progress. We need to ensure that everyone in our team knows what they need to do and when they need to do it. We bring every part of a product into existence and integrate them. That means that we attach them all together. Throughout every stage, we need to test extensively. We need to be 100% sure that every individual part, as well as a bigger integrated solution, works perfectly, as expected, and that it meets all requirements. So we need to link extensively. We need to link every small individual piece with a bigger integrated solution, as well as with requirements, and those requirements and pieces with tests. We need to set up those tests, record the results, and also fix any issues that may arise. If our product has passed all the tests and we are satisfied with the result, then we can transition to deployment and release phase so we can release our product to the world, to the customers. The last stage is maintenance. So after our product is complete, we need a tool that allows us to track any changes made, to keep record of problems and their solutions, and a tool that can ensure that our product continue to work over time. So how ELM connects to this? ELM, Engineering Lifecycle Management, is a tool, is a platform that helps engineers to manage and organize their project from start to finish. So in summary, ELM helps engineers to plan, design, develop, test, deploy, and maintain their project. It provides a structured approach to managing engineering projects and ensures that everything is organized, on track, and successful. Does it sound easy and straightforward so far? I am really trying my best. But let me now explain how unbelievably complex and hard engineering is. Imagine you are creating complex, highly sophisticated, very expensive product that needs to be extremely reliable, such as a plane or submarine. 
you decompose it step by step to thousands of subcomponents, but there is a different team or maybe team of teams responsible for every specific subcomponent. And not just that, for every of those subcomponents, you need to collaborate across systems, software, and multiple teams from multiple disciplines need to work together. For example, developers and testers. And to make matters even worse, those teams are dispersed all around the world. So it's starting to be messy very quickly. You have something extremely complex, extremely hard to build, novel. So we are working on something that was never done before. And you have thousands of people from hundreds of teams working on thousands of different subproblems that are described in tens of thousands of requirements. And any mistake can result in failed project or even worse, death. On literally every sales presentation, presenter is able to mention tens of horrific stories of how companies lose millions of dollars because of some mistakes during the development process. So now try to imagine what it takes to have a platform that can manage this complexity, what it takes to have all information always correct, always updated, always with relationship constraints and always able to demonstrate at any point of time that every requirement is met, that every requirement is complete, tested, as well as compliant with any regulatory standard. So it's getting really hard, right? But now let's understand that this product not only needs to handle this multidimensional complexity in some specific field, and that it's super hard already to cover every level of system engineering life cycle. So again, design, architecture, requirements, testing, project management, etc., etc., etc. But this one product also needs to be used for drug development in pharma industry, as well as in development of submarines or Mars Ingenuity rover. And to make it even worse, this tool needs to be able to cover every regulatory compliance of those vastly different industries. And another funny complication, every stage of the product lifecycle may require vastly different team or teams of teams or subcontractors, partners, etc. And they all need to collaborate using this one platform. So this brings me to IBM engineering lifecycle management. This is the leading platform for today's complex product and software development, and it will provide you integrated end-to-end -end solution that fosters collaboration throughout all disciplines and offers full transparency and traceability across engineering data. IBM Engineering Lifecycle Management includes all strategic applications that serve as a tools across each domain of systems and software engineering projects, such as requirements, architecture, test, planning, reporting, and tracking. You can imagine this platform as a set of applications that can help you in all areas. So in requirements management, we have engineering requirements management doors next application. In design and architecture, we have IBM engineering systems design Rhapsody application. Application dealing with source code, documents, work items, and plans management is called engineering workflow management. If you need to manage your test cases, test assets, and test plans, then we have engineering test management. And the last but not least is reporting. So for reporting, we have just reporting service, so-called report builder, where you can create table or graph style reports. Then we have optimization publishing, where you can create document style templates that are then used in doors next for generating document style reports. And last is engineering insights that is very similar to report builder, but the reports are not table or graphs, but they are like diagrams displaying the requested data and the traceability between them. So how those applications connect all together? We start with the management of requirements because this is the starting point for a successful project implementation. If teams cannot work from the same data points that are maintained with integrity and traceability, it can lead to poor outcomes. If requirements are not properly executed, there will be a negative impact to both schedule and cost. Also, the potential lack of traceability can impact quality and regulation compliance. Then, linking all requirements to a test is critical to every project. IBM Engineering Test Management is collaborative quality management solution that offers end-to-end -end test planning and test asset management from requirements to defects. Maintaining quality can be a challenge in a world of continuous delivery and quick releases, and clients need to support traceability and to manage testing throughout the entire product development lifecycle. 
This can ensure completeness and demonstrate that all requirements were met. Then, in between all of those applications, we have IBM Engineering Workflow Management, EVM. This application acts as the critical link between required and delivered work. It enables teams to manage plans, tasks, and overall project. It provides the flexibility to adapt to any process, so companies can adapt faster release cycles and manage dependencies across both small and complex development projects. Then, we have IBM Engineering Systems Design Rhapsody and its family of products. They offer a proven solution for modeling and system design activities. It provides a structured and auditable approach to analyzing and elaborating requirements throughout prototypes, simulations, and verification of validated design, while facilitating improved productivity and quality. In this last part of the video, let me talk about where it all begins. Everything starts with high-quality, well-written requirements in a single application that can act as a single access point to all engineering information and therefore as a single source of truth. So, I would like to talk about what is requirement, but also, although high-quality, well-written requirements are extremely important, equally important is to have visibility across the engineering lifecycle and all relationship in order to successfully manage complex projects. So I would like also to talk about linking and traceability. When talking about requirements, I always need to mention Doors Next because Doors Next is where it all begins. Doors Next provides a collaborative environment for teams to create, modify, and review artifacts that will facilitate effective communication and traceability throughout the project lifecycle. And you see, traceability is coming again and again and again. That's why I would like to define requirement and traceability. So the formal definition of requirement is that it's a statement that defines a system or a product or process characteristic or constraint. It's unambiguous, it's clear, it's unique, it's consistent, and it's standalone. It is not grouped, it's verifiable, and it's necessary. In simple terms, requirements are behaviors, characteristics, and features that are necessary in developed system. The requirements application need to contain all the requirements that describe what the system has to be able to do and how well our system has to be able to do it. Using requirements, you can verify if everything within the system serves a defined purpose, has a goal, and has justification for its existence. Let's now talk about traceability, the magic word that is always pop up not just with requirements, but every time you are talking about engineering lifecycle management. Requirements traceability refers to the ability to describe and follow the life of requirement in both forwards and backwards direction. That means from its origins, through its development and specification, to its subsequent deployment and use, and throughout all periods of ongoing refinement and iteration in any of those phases. If you are just starting with systems engineering, let me tell you that there is hierarchy not only in development phases, but also in a requirements hierarchy. So you can have vision on the highest level, then you can have stakeholder requirements, then you can have user requirements, then system requirements, then you can have multiple levels of subsystem requirements, etc. All right, so why traceability is popping up every time you are talking about engineering lifecycle? It's because performing a requirements traceability is an important part of engineering process, as it ensures that all of the requirements have been adequately considered during each phase of the project, and that there aren't any scope holes in development system due to missed requirements. The activity also ensures that all of the requirements are internally consistent with each other and support the overarching business drivers, goals, and objectives. Traceability is extremely important. You need traceability to have overall visibility throughout all artifacts in all stages of development lifecycle. You need traceability to ensure that every requirement has a business purpose, that each requirement directly tied to initial business needs. You need traceability to ensure that every requirement is tied to a deliverable. You need traceability to ensure that safety critical standards are met and that they are evident in compliance audit. You need traceability to ensure that all product quality requirements are met throughout the entire complex development lifecycle project. You also need traceability to be able to track issues to the source. You need traceability to be able to track real-time status and changes. 
you need traceability to be able to perform impact analysis and how changes can ripple throughout all the levels and may have upstream and downstream effects throughout the complete life cycle. And you need traceability to be able to create reports. So you see, wherever in the systems engineering lifecycle you are, you need traceability. You need to see link, you need to see relationships and dependencies between all artifacts in any stage of development lifecycle. So that was my take on the very basics of IBM ELM, systems engineering and requirements. Hopefully, if you will now hear that IBM Engineering Lifecycle Management is a platform that can handle multidimensional complexity and that can cover the whole systems engineering lifecycle of any novel complex systems, and that it is a platform that can act as a single access point to all engineering information and therefore as a single source of truth for any team anywhere in the world in any point of lifecycle, then hopefully you will have basic understanding what it meant. I hope I was able to show how incredibly complex is systems engineering. And let me tell you that engineers deserve immense praise for their remarkable contribution in tackling complex challenges with the utmost precision and ingenuity. Okay, I really hope this video was interesting and informative for you, and I look forward to see you in our next videos.